fourth generation farmer here. Uh, we've, we've uh, in 2012 was really bad. I'm seeing 2012 maybe even just a little worse than 2012 right now. Uh, already feeding hay. If you have to purchase hay, which we're going to have to purchase probably 600 bale this year, uh, you're already seeing $65, $85 hay. And you know it's some of that hay that was bailed in the media. That's what scares me, the quality of the hay that we're going to have to purchase because there's nothing else growing. You look here and it's just burn up everywhere. But I, what I what I hope in the, the positive in the future will be, I hope we see, like we did in 13, some higher priced cattle. If, if we can stay hooked and get by this drought, um, I, th I hope we see some higher cattle. I don't think we'll see them as high as we did in 13, but if, if we can get higher than where we was and for sure where we're at now, I think that's a positive. Uh, you know, and, and in the future, if we knew that we was going to get rain, we would know that we how, how much we was going to have to buy, but it's just hard to tell if we're going to get it and when we're going to get it. It's been in the future. We don't get it. We had rain here since, I think, June 8th. Uh, we finally got two tenths of rain uh, about five days ago. It was gone in 30 minutes, you know, so hopefully it will get better. But I, that's kind of my positive is I hope the cattle market, if we can make it and don't have to sell out, I think the cattle market should be a little better. Being a rep for the sale barn there, I see a lot of people, you know, uh, they call me a lot, ask what I, what I should do, what, what what should they do, you know, want to know a lot of perspective about what's going on. But uh, say four weeks ago, we had 80 head of cows. The next week, we had 180 something head. The next week, we had 590 something head of cows, not just calves, but cows. When you see that many cows coming to the sale barn, there's problems. And uh, there's a lot of people selling out right now. Uh, which when you demand that the man comes in of that very that many cattle it is going to drive the market down uh, we're seeing a drop of ten dollars a ca uh, you know a hundred on cows right now from from 80s in the low six low 70s and upper 60s and uh, we did have a special wean sale this last week uh, is one reason you've seen a lot of the big calves uh, big groups but the reason is also is they're not going to hold them till fall like me I wean in the spring I sell them in the fall I, I, I background my own cattle and with that People's not keeping cows and calves as, or keeping their calves and wean calves as long because the, the commodity prices are high right now. Grain's high. You know, corn I seen took a little bit of a drop. That might help a little bit, but people just can't afford to feed their cattle because they know that there's not going to be enough hay to feed what they don't have to keep. We're, we're supplementing a lot right now. I mean, I'm not a salesman for any feed company or anything, but we're using liquid feed. We're using salt mix to, you know, that salt mix will let them eat some of the drier Bermuda grass or drier hay, get something out of it, stretch what you got. Don't sell out unless you just have to, uh, but use some supplements, you know, and, and the best thing to do is if you do have to buy hay, get it tested. If your quality of hay is good, you don't have to supplement, but this year I'm afraid we're going to get a lot of hay that is just either too dry when it's bailed, so uh, it's not going to have the quality. Go to your county extension agent, get it, get it tested. They can tell you if you need to put anything, if you need a, a, a better supplement or liquid feed or something to get them by and uh, just, just stay in there. Hey, I've, I went through 12, we had another small winter deal, you know, where we fed a lot of hay. I mean, I've been through some droughts, not like a lot of the old timers, but if we can make it through, I, I feel like the cattle market's gonna get better after this. I mean, this is something that happens every 10 or 12, 14 years, you know, so. Just stay in and, and, and supplement where you need to. Just don't be a lot of overcost in it. Mm -hmm.